Hey viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. We got ourselves a fancy schmancy new thought. Yes, we did. <sighs> and let's be on our way. Dyer's magic isn't full. Neither is Rose's. Oh well. Moving on. Um, this could be the last video. Could be. <coughs> Don't want to bring you down or nothing. Not gonna lie to you. Of course, I do have that room with a special grinding I have to take care of. kind of sort of have a small plan for that, but not much of one. There's my angel arrows. The goal, at least in this video of yours, <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. He could have self-destructed on me. Anyway, the goal in this video is going to be to um, if nothing else get the last couple of items that are just kicking around that's the goal And we'll just see if we can make that happen. It was nice that they they gave me arrows that worked really well on the enemies here. I think it was very kind of them. I don't want those. I just want to get rid of them. Oh, interesting little bit of trivia. We know that Kane doesn't have magic. Kane gets no magic at all in this game. Don't have it, don't want it, don't want nothing to do with it. Right? There is a... Um... Script isn't the right word, but there is a script in the game in which Kane actually has a casting pose. Where he, you know, does the whole little... Puts his hands together and chit-chats with whoever. You never get to see it. You have to basically be using a cheat of some sort. One that would give him magic. Levels up, sir. Nice. See, I have much more time now, so I'm not like frantic. I'm not trying to get this accomplished. Oh, what's in here? I did not know that. <coughs> well. feel like doing this yours. Okay. 
She's a powerhouse. There's another Minerva. And that's an go on right Defense 54 and 31 becomes 70 and 27. And physical attack goes up by 4. Summon Leviathan. Because we can. This is a special room because this is, as I was mentioning, when I would rent this game and end up at the end of the the, of the game, this is uh, pretty much where I would start. Bam. Crazy damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, zombie sword. What am I gonna do with you? Not waste my Artemis arrows, that's one thing I'm not gonna do with you. So they save the game. Because what we're going to go and work on right now is kind of tough. I want that. But they ain't just going to let me take it. Death to all who seek this holy spear. Throw the Avenger. You have to kill this guy quickly. The long and short of it. Um, whew, that was close. Haste ends up making your counter go quicker. The Holy Lance. That is Kane's best weapon. Defense does drop a little bit, but attack goes up. And his defense is fine. Let's not let's not lie about that. His defense is okay. Now, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rest and save again. <clears throat> of course. No, it's just you. Now here's something fun. Um, we won't get to see it, but it's fun. The Holy Lance will cast the Holy Spell when you use it as an item. It's a low level, but, you know, it'll still do it. You shouldn't do it, because it's weaker than his attack would be, but it'll do it.
<clears throat> I know what the treasure is, I just forget who I have to fight. You shall not obtain the holy protection of these ribbons. Oh, yeah. not a staff. Almost out of Artemis arrows, viewers. That's kind of a tough fight, if I recall. They likes the bio. Too bad. Less people die. Alright. Life two on the game. Couple of ribbons. The only two in the game. And we're gonna give them to the ladies. And they do protect from status effects. Now back, we're gonna go and save again. Sort the old inventory out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's one more weapon we can get here, and I'm gonna go get it. And then I'm going to... I didn't see the enemy that I was expecting to see, which tells me where the room I need to go grind is. So, we'll do a little wandering until I find it. And then I will do some grinding for it. And the crap part about this bit of grinding, viewers, is the enemy is a rare enemy, and the enemy's drop is a rare drop. So it could take me quite a while. Forgot to unequip those arrows. We're still not done fighting dragons. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go with the angels. I'll we'll go with the angels. Oh man, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Well, I think you can kind of got the background going on. Phase. It used to be called Evil Mask, didn't you? I think you did. So he reflects himself, and he reflects you. You cannot cast spells against him, and you can't. For some reason, you can't cast spells against him or yourselves either, because they will just reflect. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I could cast Bio on one of my characters, but it would work. But if I cast it on him, it doesn't work. 
Thankfully, summon monsters don't care about reflect. These are fixed battles, by the way. You cannot run from them. Kind of like the behemoth fights in um, Bahamut's Cave. I've got a lot of health. I'm kind of spooky looking. No, not spooky. Creepy. Lot of health. Whole lot of health. I think there's only two or three total that we have to fight. There we go. Hmm. What are you doing here? You should not be here. Guarding that treasure chest. That's what he's doing. And I need to heal. I didn't heal after the battle because I didn't think I was going to fight again so soon. I'll get right Daya to heal us next turn she gets. So unlike the behemoth, you notice that these guys don't really have a physical attack. It's pretty much all magic. Cecil has almost 5,000 hit points. And there it is, viewers. Red Dragon. I can never remember that I can cast ice on these. Yeah, just stop it. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need to. Level up for Cecil. He now should have 5,000 hit points. And he does. That is awesome. Alright, time to heal. Did you actually think that people from the blue planet would be able to use this Masamune? Spooky. Spooky viewers. And it's dark. Um, Leviathan. That's his name. And he sucks. Pretty much the long and short of it. Tiny 
need Arithian. This is why I bought all these shurikens. Counters magic attacks with that blaze spell. notice that the damage Kane is doing has started to lag behind everyone else a bit. That's unfortunate, but it's what happens. There we go. You survived the initial attack, you should be fine. Seasons is 240. Now that's it. That's all the special fancy weapons. We just need to keep going down, but we're not going to, viewers. Oh yeah, guess who's a random encounter now? You said behemoths, so you win. Um. I need to go track down this room I'm looking for. So, you know, I like to complain that the game likes to give you all the really awesome, kick-ass, best weapons, like, right before the end of the game. We're, like, two rooms away from the last boss right now. And we just finally got Edge's final sword. We got Kane's final weapon in the room before. We got the ribbons the room before. Really, when it's... Past the point of actually needing this stuff. And I don't like that. I don't. I mean, I can understand why you do it. I just don't like it. Now, I can't run from any of these battles. I'm forced to fight them. I don't want to. So I'm actually going to pause the video and fast forward my way through these fights. Because, you know, they're long fights. And I'm going to be doing enough playing today anyway. So I will see you guys when we leave this room. All right, viewers. Save state since it did a game save. Thing. <clears throat> There's a tail here. The pink tail. And I think we get it from an enemy called the pink puff. If I remember right. And I think it's in this room that they show up. And they, if I remember right, like to use Quake. So I'm gonna levitate. 
sort. I'm gonna use this alarm. This will be the room. It shows up with this guy. He likes to tell you he's got 12,000 hit points and is weak against lightning, hoping that you're dumb enough to use lightning on him. Well, don't do it. It's a trick. In fact, his name in the American version is Trickster. If you don't hit him with lightning, this is all he'll do. He'll just keep casting Libra on himself over and over. So, viewers, I'm going to pause the video again and run around this room until I find what I'm looking for. And then I'll be right back. Hey, viewers, guess what? Here they are. Pink puffs. And I'm not levitating. <coughs> That was weird. Oh, um, I've been running around trying to find the, the goodies that the dragons drop, and I found a couple. After this battle, I will show you what they are. Oh wait, I'm berserked, apparently. Well, that's bad news. Oh wait, I'm fine now. Wait, Rosa's preserved. I'm confused. Okay, yeah, I didn't give Rosa any commands. I didn't give Red Eye any commands. Notice that their layout is the same as my party layout. Three in front, two in the back. I'm so confused. Kane's doing a damn fine job, though. I'll tell you that. The weapon you see Raidaya using, viewers, is the Dragon Whip is dropped by blue dragons. Does phenomenal damage to dragons. We're talking three, four thousand damage. And I was in the wrong room. Um, that room I paused the video in was not the right room. You'll see the correct room here in a moment. Why did I think these guys cast Quake? There you go, 277,000 gil. 10,000 experience points. No tail. This is the room. To get to this room, it's right here. Right there, Lunar Underground 6. You want Lunar Underground 5. This room. So I went and I was grinding from dragons and all this other stuff, and I picked up these glass masks from the Faces? Phases? Yeah, yeah. Picked up crystal rings from red dragons. Got a glass mask from Cecil. Crystal dragon work. And Edge here picked up both a crystal and a glass mask. Um, giving him actually really, really good defense now. Um, lightning still messes him up, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Now, I, I hear tell that there's a dragon spear, but I haven't been able to get that one. Supposedly, obviously, it does really good damage against dragons and has a chance to basically instant death your opponent. Now, I'm going to... We didn't get our tail, so I'm going to keep grinding until I get a tail. 
See you in a bit. Viewers, I made an oopsie, and I did not start the recording back when I thought I did. I apologize. So, I've maxed out my gold. I've <laughs> never done that before. Um, I have a tail. One tail. I picked up like two elixirs, three of these, a couple of hellwind shurikens. I picked up a lot of stuff fighting those guys. Only one tail. So, I want more than one tail, and I'm not going to go through that whole madness again, so... Codes may be applied, viewers. Codes may be applied. <coughs> pink tail. Whoa, th this is the legendary pig's tail. All right, I'll give you this too. Adamant armor. I can do this as many times as I want. You just can't have multiple tails in your inventory when you come to do this. So, we'll start off with edge here. Bam. Huge. I mean, best armor in the game, by far. And we're going to get some for everybody. And then I'm going to go back to the moon, and then I'm going to save, and then we'll finish the game next time. Thank you for watching. Carry on.